Hello everyone and welcome back to another Craft Ninja video. Yes, I will be featuring the Mariposa collection again, but not in the way you think. Now this collection does have a lot of butterflies, but as you'll see with my completed layout for this week, it does not all have to be butterflies. So this is gorgeous. Let me zoom in. Let me pull the papers that have the big patterns on them to show y'all what I did. All right. So here y'all can see that these are stickers. I printed this on my favorite matte clear sticker paper and I fussy cut. These are printed. Um, the paper does have a little bit of a color in the background. This is the original pattern. So you can see that it does kind of seem like it has like a, a tannish background. And so I just fussy cut. And once you print it out, you can't really tell that it did have a background color. But I thought these were really beautiful for spring. Um, and so there's that. I just, you know, added detail to the top. And then at the bottom, I just made a smaller version of that really um, cute bird on a branch. And then as you can see, I made a bookmark. Now I used a couple papers here. I used this kind of, I think these are swallows. I'm gonna go with swallows if I'm wrong. Type a comment down below and tell me what kind of bird this actually is. I think they might be swallows that are just flying around and I did like the other ones. I did increase the, uh, decrease the opacity when I printed out so it would print out lighter. And then I used some of the um, collage sheets or the tag sheets. And then I just sized it down just a little bit to fit on here. This is a template that I already had so it works perfectly in here. And I have two more ready to go as I don't want to waste a sheet of paper. And then here is the other side of the layout. Just cute little blossoms over here. I think they might be dogwood. I'm not sure. And then just a slightly larger form factor of that really cute bird on a branch trim to fit in the box. And that's what I did for this week. It's super simple. Layouts don't have to be elaborate and really big. They just sometimes just have to work. So let your layout work for you. Don't necessarily feel that you have to do an amazingly decorated and involved spread because I'm gonna end up filling this up with all my things for this week. So anyways, next up we have unboxing. Today was an amazing day for Happy Mail. I got both of my pip sticks and I got my Sugar and Sloth Tiny Party Parcel Club mailers. So let's get into it. Here is the little box. It is so cute. Let's see what's in it. I love these characters. They are so cute. Anita did just announce that they are partnering with a company um, that does leggings, so that should be really cute with these characters on leggings. Sign me up, yes please. All right, there we go, the little, I think that's a pelican. There we go. And here we are, the goodies in here. All right, Dragon Dream House is the theme for this week. Pin and stationery hat box. So here is the pin. Cute but fierce. Yes. Thank you. Hello, cute. So cute. Oh my goodness. And then this is a little notebook. Look at that. Everything's completely <laughs> under control. You know, like the dumpster fire that was 2020 that is spilled over into 2021. And look at the cute little, oh my goodness, such cute little drawings on each of the pages. Oh my goodness. Look at that booty. Oh my goodness. These are so adorable. Oh my goodness. 
y'all. And this is actually good quality paper. This is a nice weight, so it's not, she didn't cheap out on this. So this is cute, super cute. Oh my goodness, all right, and then that is the back. Super cute, just pop this in your purse, in your backpack, and put some notes in it and add some cute to your day. Oh my goodness. Okay, here are some vinyl stickers. I might have to contemplate putting these on my laptop. Cute but fierce, world's kindest warrior. I am very overwhelmed. Oh, a little snuggly dinosaur and another one of the dumpster fires and, okay, bye. Skateboarding dino with a skull. And then we have the pin that's in this. And this is, oh look, it is the skateboarding dino with sparkly wings. Oh my goodness. You know what y'all, I do have another letterboard project coming up. It's a super easy one. It's super cute, it's rainbow and I had to get it because I thought all of these beautiful goodies from Sugar and Sloth would go so well on it. And then the obligatory calendar. So there is that. Super cute with the dino characters on top. And then last but not least, we have, <gasps> we get to make our own little craft. Oh my goodness, I will have to make this. All right, we're gonna make this y'all. All right. Let me grab some supplies and I'll be right back. All right, I got my self-healing cutting mat. I got my handy dandy craft knife and a metal edge ruler because, you know, sometimes we just need a little help cutting a straight line. And this is too cute not to mess up, so I will do my best to cut this out nicely. It's always a trial. So, all right, I'm gonna cut this out and we're gonna make it. It's gonna be so cute. Oh my goodness. Gotta make sure to line everything up. And like I've said in some of my videos, Sometimes your first cut doesn't need to go through your paper all the way. Just go a couple times, just hold your ruler steady and just run it along the edge. That's why you have a metal edge ruler. And also, another note, sometimes your craft knife does get dull. So don't necessarily, if you're having to cut a whole bunch, maybe it's time to change the blade. All right, let's put the cover on our craft knife. There we go, look at that. All right, now one thing that I like to do um, when you're going to be folding these up is get a bone folder. This is a Teflon bone folder. I like the Teflon because it just slides on the paper just a little bit better. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do, you can do this on, um, on the surface or on something a little bit um, squishier, but I'm just going to kind of crease where the lines are, where we're gonna fold them just so we can get straight lines. We're gonna be folding them the other way, but it's just gonna go ahead and start creasing the paper. All right, let me just grab my tacky glue. Is my Tombow Mono Multi. It is a tacky glue, and when you're making paper projects, a lot of times I find if you're not going to use double-sided tape, um, actually using the, a tacky glue is gonna be really helpful because it'll stick and it won't slide as easily at first. So let us, let's do the roof and then we can start sticking it all together. All right, so before we start gluing, I'm gonna go ahead and fold these over. Let's 
starting that crease just really helps to kind of get a nice line. All right, and if you want extra crisp folds, what you're going to want to do is once you've done your folds, you want to run your bone folder over your creases. I'm going to glue the roof first and then I'll glue the sides. A little bit of this goes a long way, so you don't need a whole lot. Find that it's coming up a little bit, just go ahead and hold it in place for a little bit and then the, your body heat will help um, the glue set a little bit before you move on. There we go, it's done. Look at it, it is so cute. Look at it, so cute. Tiny house, that was so much fun. Oh, hey, there we go, now you can see it. Dragon's dream house, so cute. Our next unboxing are these amazing packages from Pipsticks. I get the Pro Pack and the Kid Pack. So I'm just going to choose the gold one, and that's the first one that we'll do. There we go. What is this? What is this? It's a seahorse, oh my goodness. This is the Little Pippi for April 2021. All right, let me zoom in and take out my cutting mat and we'll look through each one of these. All right, let's take a quick peek at the Little Pippi this month. So there we have it. Oh, this month's giveaway winner is we'll get an art easel. And you only win if you get a ticket. You have Spot the Difference in a Maze and a lovely jellyfish to color. And then, of course, the obligatory background. You can fill with all your stickers. And then your decoder message. So here is the pack get this open and let's look at this oh my god I am just in love in love oh my goodness and not only did we get a seahorse but we got little extra puffies oh my gosh and a puffy little pea oh my goodness this is so adorable and cute all right have I showed y'all the frames that I have put these in they're so cute I'll show you after this, um, after we go through this. So that is adorable and cute. Oh, so squishy and sunny. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, all right. Next up, we have these jemmy kind of borders. Let me zoom in just a little bit more so we can really catch, so y'all can really see the detail. And you can see that there is this beautiful blue aquamarine foiling on the diamond. So you could do it like this or like that. And those are super cute. All right, next up is a treasure box with treasure chest, treasure box, treasure chest, vinyl stickers. And they have the gold hollow foil on it. So you got your gold coins and a turtle and the chest and rings and necklaces super cute oh what is this are these kitty mermaids yes they are oh my gosh those are super cute and again that teal foil that's so fun i love that people are starting to use more colors of foil this is so adorable even in a floaty oh my goodness so cute all right, and here we have kind of 
build your own pirate ship. Let me zoom out so y'all can see the whole thing. So there we go. We have the pirate ships and then you can just kind of make your own scene. That is super cute and adorable. And this is with um, silver hollow foil. So that is super cute. You have the ship's wheel and anchor, crow's nest, the sails and you have one two boats to choose from and some waves and a parrot army hearties Molly want a cracker uh, uh, uh. all right next up we have more seahorses these have a gold hollow foil on them and they're just fun different patterns in amongst the stars those are adorable all right, and then origami whales and an anchor and I guess a bird, a crane, and then fish and a boat hat. Those are super cute. All right, next, some cute little roller skates. Oh my gosh, those are, those are the tiniest, most adorable little roller skates ever okay <laughs> it's not gonna focus that close because i zoomed in so much but there you go you can see those roller skates are adorable all right here is just some super fun graphic weather stickers this i believe has the gold hollow foil on it too the sun the clouds the rainbow the temperature thermometers. Oh, so great to kind of keep track of weather in your planner or on your calendar. All right, oh, oh no, ah, okay. Some more gemmies, are these? Oh, these are not borders, these are just individual gems. The same gems that you saw in the border gems are going to be individual here. So that would really make for a fun layout or spread or whatnot. And then here we have some foily numbers. It's a really pretty kind of teal blue. There we go, even some little stripes in there. And then we have a whole bunch of seagulls and they have some gold hollow foil detail on them as well. And then some little cute starfish just intermixed. So that is really cute as well. This is an adorable pack, I keep on saying cute. Here's some more super graphic sea creatures. You have your octopus and a crab and a puffer fish and a turtle and a manta ray. Oh, so cute. And little bubbles all with the teal foil. Super cute. Here you have some really big octopi and your octopus can be listening to its tunes or potentially going roller skating. I mean, I don't know if there are enough roller skates on here, but you definitely have the other roller skates so you can make your octopus roller skate. Oh look, the octopus has its own little collectible lipstick stickers. Adorable glasses, you can dress it up. Dress up an octopus, super cute. All right, next up is the scratch and sniff. All right, let me scratch it. It smells like a suntan lotion <laughs> it smells like summer who's ready for summer comment below if you are ready for summer all right you have a manta ray with some really cute shells and let's celebrate yes i think once everyone is vaccinated we will be able to celebrate making waves that is really cute and not just like you know the old school Scratch and sniff stickers. These are new school amazingness. So wonderful. And then, oh my goodness, I have to zoom out for this one a little bit. Y'all are gonna be blinded by this really cute kitty mermaid postcard where everything is foiled except for the fishes and the kitty mermaid. And of course the back, the same, and then a little turtle where your stamp goes. That is an adorable set, y'all. That is so cute. Okay, all right. I promised y'all I would get 
I would show y'all what I do with my puppies. I'll go grab that, I'll be right back. All right, this is what I do with my puffies. I put them in shadow box frames. I got like a giant pack of them from Michaels and they're five by seven frames. And even this guy is gonna fit in there. I just put it on white cardstock and I'm gonna hang them up in, I guess our little entertainment room, whatnot. So this is what I do. It's just a little shadow box. Super cute, you can just hang them up all over. I'm gonna put them at the border at the top of the room. It's gonna look so cute. All right, let's move on to the Pro Pack. All right, and last but not least, we have the April 2021 Pro Pack from And here it is. Here is the Pippi for the month. There we go. They are moving their warehouses. Here is a look at their designing, the poles that they've done. Sticker your sneakers, use Mod Podge. And then April VIP ticket. If you have a ticket, then what do you win? You get to be featured in the Pippi. And then here is a sneak peek of May. Here we go. And there's the back. That is one of the designers this month. So cool. All right, let's get into it. I'm super excited to see this. It looks like a giant lava lamp right here. All right, let's zoom in just a little bit. So, ooh, not that much, there we go, okay. So here is the first one, a giant lava lamp. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even fit in the frame. Okay, there we go, look at that. Super shiny lava lamps, oh my gosh. I don't know if y'all had a lava lamp when you were kids, but I definitely saved up to get one from where? Spencer Gifts. All right, and this is a silver hollow foil with mushrooms and stars and moons. Are there stars? Yes, yeah, there's a star. And mushrooms and then lava lamps. So cute. All right, here we have some groovy stickers, just some paisleys and hearts. And then this has gold foil accenting. Is it gold hollow? I think it's, I don't know. You tell me, I think it's gold, just gold. Super awesome, just really great. Paisleys and dots, just a really great pattern. There we go, that's the way it's supposed to be oriented. There we go, and then here are some matte stickers. Let's zoom in just a little bit for these. There we go, we've got just kind of like a retro TV theme for popcorn, VHS tapes. I mean, I am a child of the 80s. 3D glasses, soda pop, movie tickets, great. All right, and here we have high top sneakers, Converse with silver hollow accents. And these are just blooming for spring. Super cute. All right, here are some bunny rockers. The silver hollow, just rocking out with the records and lightning bolts. Even got an amp over here. So cute. Here are the butterflies that were featured in the Pippi. And then this has gold foil accents. And so those are just really pretty butterflies. Not too feminine because they have a lot of blue in them, which is really nice. All right, along with more of the retro theme, theme we have cassette tapes. And oh boy, did this ever happen to anyone? Yeah, that was a travesty if that happened. Definitely remembered getting my own to make my own mix. 
super cute and nostalgic oh my goodness all right and then here are just some zigzag triangle circles just kind of 80s you know i'm really getting like saved by the bell so like early 90s <laughs> vibe here with uh the silver hollow foil so that is cute here we have <gasps> cell phones <laughs> from the late 90s oh my gosh the brick phones and then the flip down oh my goodness yeah I definitely remember when my dad got a brick phone I mean, it was a brick it had to have its own like carrying case <laughs> so yeah that was a uh... yep here we go positive energy with a nice big butterfly really good big bold sticker and here we go with some more groovy stickers you got a peace sign and groovy no rain no rainbows just super groovy and very 70s 60s 70s reminiscent with its colors all right here are some more matte stickers and who as a young child did not love their lip smackers. This is lip balm, but lip smackers was where it was at. Actually, I have to confess, I still love my lip smackers. Things are just great, all the different flavors. Comment below what your favorite flavor scent of lip balm was when you were a kid. I think mine was probably like strawberry. And then very retro kind of Vegas signs. Super cute. And then this has hollow on it and it is the silver hollow foil on here. Really great motivational signs, super cute. Here's some more matte stickers with just different kinds of women on here. It's really great. So you love her little buns. Awesome. And then here we have some alphabet stickers with silver hollow foil and then just a really groovy font that they use for this one flower power dynamite and last but not least the postcard it is a cassette tape with silver hollow foil accents the screws the tape super cute and a rainbow then on the back we have a music note all right, that was the Pippi Pro Pack. Um, that is the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on all things social, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.